좋아요. What the? customize this miracle run with the, the air dry clay, and it's not that hard to do. Ah uh, yes, the time when sculpting on top of something else haven't gotten old just yet, and I hope it never does. But it doesn't matter if the item you're sculpting on top of is a canvas or your very own sketchbook. Wait, that sounds like a great idea. Write it down, write it down. Today I found this, um, what is it? Well, this is what it is. So hard to me, but I guess it's not that bad. The music doesn't sp sound bad. Um, let's see what's inside. Time for me to take this thing apart and start putting things into place. But I need to give this a good old sand. This will not only help the paint to stick to it, but it will also help the clay to stick to it as well. And once I cleaned it all up, I went ahead and used my puffy paint to actually uh, fill in some holes that were on the miracle on horses before moving on to marking down the spot that I needed to mark down. I need to mark down while I drill some holes in it and on the side of the bottom half of the music box. While I'm drilling in the holes, I need to be careful with this. I still want to keep this as a music box. I'll be working on the main base for the music box now. Now I need to add the wire. It was a bit of a struggle for me to put the wire inside of the box. I think I drilled too big of a hole so the wire didn't stick to the side like I was hoping so I had to get creative to make sure this wire stayed in the base. I just had to add the rest of the wire off camera. Now that I think I'm ready for the play and some aluminum foil. <laughs> Sadly I either didn't record this whole part or I lost some of the footage because one of my SD cards died on me. So at this point in the video. Oh come on it was a slight error I made on the sculpture. I, I don't even know what happened. I didn't mean to. Huh? So because of that, the legs and the tail seem kind of done at this point, so I need to add the head and the neck into the body. In the first bit of the clay that I added onto the body and, uh, well, this was not my attention, um. <laughs> Do I need to blue this out? After some time of working with the clay, I was able to finally get the head to look like a head. Not um, uh, well, anyways, I even added the mouth where I'm, I even added the mouth where I'll be adding her teeth to her mouth as well. Speaking of which, while I'm working on adding the teeth to her mouth, let's talk about a few things first. Let's talk about my social media that I want to show you guys. I post on my Instagram either it's all about my sculpture, doll slash customization that I've been working on, or artwork that you don't get to see on my YouTube channel. I'm also maybe uploading some stuff about my Red Eye Chronicle series that I've been working on on my YouTube channel. If you want to check, keep up with the Analog Horror series, I have a whole playlist down in the description below that you guys can take a look at. I also have a store that I'm selling a lot of my artwork. Check it out, link in the description below. After I finished adding the teeth to the mouth, I, add, I added detail to other parts of the body, like the tail, the legs, and they even added detail under the parasite neck as well. It's kinda hard to tell in the footage, but I'm adding it there. This parasite is a very good girl, isn't she? She looked great. Her neck is a bit too small for my liking, but um, she's looking great. What do you guys think? A part of me wishes I kind of did go with a boxy sculpt with this project, but um, I think air dry clay is a fine choice I did. But I think air dry clay is fine, even though I did kind of struggle with some part of this. Um, yeah, air dry clay kind of sucks, but um, uh, this is kind of foreshadowing that I did kind of use the boxy later. Clay isn't that bad, right? I even tried adding some detail to the leg, but um, 
I didn't like that, so um, I, I took a very sharp carving tool to remove the detail. Because of that, one of the legs did kind of break a little bit, so I had to glue that back on. This is also kind of a foreshadowing in the future. After all of that problem, it's time for painting. After leaving it on my desk for a month and just ignoring it as I struggled to finish up school for the past few months, not fun. So I finally finished school. Wait, I have school coming up soon. Uh, first of all, I'm gonna be adding this ugly looking color at first because I was trying to get that rusty type of feel to it, but I wasn't liking this, so I decided to like take it outside, spray it down with the barrage color off camera, and add it just like this bubblegum type of pink color to it. It was pink originally, but it was like hot pink, so I kind of mellowed down the pink a little bit, and I like it this way. And for the like um the um I guess the beige color I did match it with um color paint that I have. After this, I did go ahead and use metallic. So after my struggling with the pink, it's time for me to move on to the metallic. Now I need to add a million layers of bronze paint onto this. After adding white paint, at the beginning and adding like this disgusting looking paint that I don't like at the beginning. So now onto the bronze painting of the part because. Why not add a million layers of like metallic paint to this? There's not gonna be a problem with this, no. I didn't spend an entire eternity trying to paint bronze the metallic paint onto this. No, I didn't have that problem. Anywho, because it took me a million layers to actually paint the metallic paint onto this, I decided to paint this part off the camera because, well, it's gonna take a freaking long time. Also, I started a new job, so I know a lot of my time will be away from my art deck. So while I do this bit of painting the merry round, that doesn't mean I'm done painting it. It's time for aging the thing up. I'm going to try to make the thing look like it's from a hundred years ago, which that is my intention. No, oh, not that. This is what I mean. I had so much fun doing this part that I actually painted this whole thing. Because yes, even though I wanted to look nice with the painting process, but it took me so much longer than I wanted it to be. That cause of that, I had to push a lot of my project back because of all of this. Well, also a few other things that happened in my life. Things just don't like me sometimes. I think we can all relate to that. Right, ADHD? What? Yes, so many projects that I had planned are being pushed back, and I have no idea now when I, they'll be coming out. So finally, so finally, I'm done aging this whole piece, of that, and I almost forgot it was time to paint the parasite. And this leads to the problem that I've been avoiding this whole time, painting the whole parasite. This is pretty much the same problem that I had when I was trying to figure out the paint. This is the pretty much the same problem that I had when I was trying to figure out how I'm going to paint Jeremy in my last video. Jeremy is my Skeletor, is what I actually call them now. Um, so I was actually having trouble, the same trouble that I had with, Ske with uh, Jeremy the Skeletor. So now I'm having trouble with uh, my gazer, uh, Delora. Yeah, I'm gonna call her Delora. I just made it up that spot. And because of this struggle, I'm going to be pulling up this drawing I did of a parasite and forgot the color on, on Photoshop. I did the same thing with the Skeletor and now I'm doing it with the gazer. And this one was, well, speak for yourself. Oh, the problem I had, but this is a story for another time. I don't think I'm going to be using Astel for this because... Yeah, that's why. Well, don't need to worry about that. Now I just need to blend some of the colors together and to make sure everything looks okay, I guess. I don't know. I'm also going to be adding a bit of dry brushing to this creature as well, just to bring out some of the details. And now, it's finally time to finish this guy, right? Right? What the heck? Why am I gluing the lid back on and adding that poppy skull? What? You thought I was the one that broke it? Ha 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 ha, no. It was that brat over there! Oh please, I can do what I want. Oh boo hoo! I don't want you on my desk! How in the- Why are you two like this?
I demand some treats. And with that, now I'm finally done with this guy. Wait, forgot the glossy eyes in the mouth. I had planned to use uh, like UV resin for this, but I think I used like um, a varnish for it. So, but anyway, the paint is protected, and I'm just coating this guy of. And I'm going to be adding another coat to this guy with a matte varnish. Actually, no, I'm going to spray it down with Mr. Super Clay. Remember that can I told you that I was almost without? Yeah, I'm going to use Mr. Super Clay here, no matter what. I mean, it does kind of give off this, like, this old rusty feel to it, so I don't mind it. And with that, the parasite is ready to infect the next host. Let's see who you will affect. Hopefully nobody. That will be it for today, guys, and I'll see you dragons next time. Bye for now!